Today we're taking a little trip in the Botwood and we're going to visit a piece of Newfoundland history that most Newfoundlanders don't know about, but it is really cool. 2,000 miles of ocean whose hazards since the beginning of aviation have challenged adventurers of the air. But the day of adventurous flying is past. Commercial aviation meets the challenge in another way. The strategic position of Newfoundland, North America's closest point to Europe, has long been recognized. So Botwood on Newfoundland's bleak east coast flashes from the obscurity of a fishing village to headlines in the world's newspapers. Yesterday, unknown. Today, a vital link between two continents. In the quiet waters of Botwood's port, officials of the British Air Ministry greet the Americans. While the clipper comes to anchor in Newfoundland, groan of motors over a measureless sea. The voices of patterns far across the ocean, Imperial Airways Caledonia is making final preparations in Boeing's Ireland. The signal is given. From both sides of the Atlantic, the plane take off into a world of sky and water. The weather reaches Ireland, completes the first west to east commercial Atlantic survey flight. The bedrooms and shifts and galleys. Lift up. That plane is really easy to get up. One You're gonna stall. You're gonna stall. You're going back. People need to know about this, eh, Mandy? What's that? People. Oh, 